Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Chef Pete, we're on to our second recipe. Yes, indeed. Now, it promises to be a hot one. It promises to be delicious, but we're still focusing on chicken. Now, the beauty of cooking with chicken is that you can have a variety of parts and pieces to choose from. So we've chosen the whole chicken. We've decided to try a divine stuffed whole roast chicken with honey and mustard glaze. And Chef Pete is going to show us how. Now, before we get into the method, you know, it's all about getting it right. What do we need? We're going to be stuffing our chicken and into that we're going to have some bacon and some onion as well as some sausage, chicken livers. Like, like you said, Chef, we're using the whole chicken, yep. so we're even putting some chicken livers into that palace, wow. some breadcrumbs, eggs, and then you're going to make the glaze for us. Um, uh, I'm actually going to get started with our onion, Chef. You can okay, do your fantastic. thing. Okay, so I'm going to start with the rest of the stuffing. As I said, this is where we get to use up the rest of the chicken. Mm. I've got some roughly chopped chicken livers. You could cut up the, the hearts and the gizzards and use that in as well. So we're, we're using everything. So I've got the chopped chicken livers here. I'm just using sausage, um, beef sausage meat. You could use, you could use meat, uh, um, meat. You could use, <laughs> use mince if you want it. But I quite like the fact that the, the sausage meat has is, is, is got a nice fat content and it's seasoned. So it just it adds an extra bit of flavor to it. So if we were to just continuously add more different varieties to this, South Africans can go wild in terms of the stuffing. Oh, uh, without a doubt. I think, look, I think stuffing is, is kind of, the limits are the limits of your imagination. You could put some olives through this, some sun-dried tomatoes, different herbs. You could add little bits of, say, halloumi cheese or something along those. You really could go quite berserk with the, with the stuffing for the chicken. And as I said, this actually works really, really well uh, for turkey. So it's the kind of recipe that you can keep and, and come the end of the year, you can add your, uh, you can add this to your, to your favorite bird. I've got some roughly chopped sage here, which is gonna go in. Sage is a beautiful, and there's also a little bit of dried tarragon that we've added to that. Well, Chef, uh, can I also add some yeah. garlic? You can indeed. I'm going to add some garlic here, and then I'm also going to give Dumi some garlic. Um, I love myself some garlic in the winter in every and all mm -hmm. recipes. Hopefully that those are big enough to incorporate. Sometimes people like to put the whole roasted garlic inside. Yeah. Yeah, the smaller is better because then it, it, it'll, it'll break down and cook better. Okay. And so the, the, the garlic flavor will be released into the chicken and to the rest of the stuffing. Stunning. Now, Chef, we are creating a beautiful masterpiece with our whole chicken today. It's going to be going into the oven for roasting. But I always seem to get it wrong when it comes to roasting a full chicken. Because it's not in pieces, there are different thickness within the chicken. Né? So how do I make sure that the entire chicken is cooked thoroughly, but also not overcooked or undercooked in other parts? Okay, so, so the secret, the secret, although it's not something we can do with the stuff, but if you're if you're cooking this, because I'm imagining that you probably wouldn't do stuffing, you just roast the chicken yeah, on no, its own. Just as <laughs> yeah. right, I thought that might be good. The trick is the trick, most chicken, this is a probably about I would say 1.1, 1.2 kilos. It's likely to take about 45 to 50 minutes in, in the oven. But the secret is when you've got it, okay, obviously you can't do it when it's cooking. Yeah. When in the oven, just lift it up and you'll see all the juices run out of the cavity. It, when those juices are clear, then the chicken is cooked. Okay, so what happens, you'll notice in the first 10, 15 minutes you lift it up and it's quite dark because that's the blood from inside the bird. Mm. When it gets towards the end of the cooking, when, you can just lift the whole tray up and, mm. and, and, and sort of lift it towards itself. Towards you, and you'll see that and when those juices are clear, then the chicken is ready. I like that. Tommy, as you're continuing there, I'm on the honey mustard glaze. I've got the honey. I have got, is this some lemon juice to me? Yep. That is some lemon juice palette. I've got some um, mustard. mustard here. And then of course, we've got this beauty and I can already feel like that is melted down butter. Correct. Love that. And it's all just getting mixed in into that. Mm -hmm. That's easy. That it is. All right, Chef, I'm gonna go in and spoon in some of our additional ingredients. So should I put it into the bowl? Um, actually, put it straight into the bowl. Straight into yeah, the bowl. Yeah, straight into the, let's, straight into this. And the beauty of this is there's nice added fat now to this. Yes, meaning that your, your stuffing also will be nice and juicy yeah. instead of it drying out. Mm-hmm. All right, another trick by the side to getting sure, making sure that your chicken, uh, especially if you're roasting chicken, so that it doesn't tear. I don't know if you've noticed some people have chicken and then it tears the skin, doesn't look as nice and golden. Is because you're taking your chicken straight out of the fridge and then putting all the, the flavors on it and straight into the oven. That then causes the chicken to tear. So it yeah. is best, I'm not gonna say at room temperature, but it is best to take your chicken out of the fridge some time ahead of time before putting it into the oven Definitely. or cooking it because that'll help with making sure it keeps its integrity and looks as beautiful as this little bird we've Got over here. We're trying to keep the skin on, making sure that that skin doesn't fall apart. I like that tip. That normally does happen to me. Now, Chef, what's the next part? I see you've got Okay, we're going to stuff the bird first before we before we glaze it, okay. otherwise the glaze is going to go. So I've yeah. just added some fresh breadcrumbs to this and a couple of eggs. 
That's 35 years, but as I've been wanting to do that, I still I can never get it right. The one-handed ma ma maneuver, whatever that is. That that happens when you when you work in large hotels and you're a trainee, and they say, right, you've got to do breakfast for 300 people, sure. wow. and they give you boxes and boxes of eggs that you have to crack for scrambled <laughs> egg and stuff. You learn to do it very very quickly. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just I'm going to add my onions and my my onions, my garlic, my nice chunky garlic and bacon to this. <laughs> Ideally. <laughs> Shot that chunky garlic. Okay, it all goes into the same mixing bowl. Yeah, ideally, um, we let the, the bacon and the onion cool down, but because this is going to go straight into the bird and into the oven, it's, it's not a train smash. Just get some seasoning in there, okay. the salt and pepper. Chef, whilst you're just putting in those finishing touches, because we do want to see you put that um, stuffing mm -hmm. into the bird, I just want to wrap things up and tell South Africa where to get this incredible recipe, because I mean, I want you to try the whole thing. I'm talking about the thighs, the wings, and everything in between, and you can too. So to get your hands on this recipe, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full ingredients list. Now, Domi, please may you just come a little closer to help Chef put this together. Sure. Here's the bird. Whilst I let South Africa know what we're going to be making coming yeah. up. Yeah. Now, breaded, fried chicken uh, just hits the spot. So when we come back, we're going to be filling the craving as we make chicken schnitzels served with a creamy pepper sauce.